hello viewers so we are in the series of WCF tutorials so today we are going to see the topics related with uh, uh, data binding so uh, see all uh, we uh, last session we discussed uh, how to create the basic contracts so now we need to get the data from it in it so so here I going to use a entity framework uh, to get the data so uh, normally uh, we need to talk to the database to get the details from uh, data from the database so that is what we going to do near here so I need the mailbox uh, records so uh, so uh, we need to go and create the data first for that I go and add one new project so I will uh, create one class library uh, to handle the data so let's go and create the class library my class library I called as something okay ef dot data okay something like entity framework uh, data service so so here this I uh, call as uh, data model rename the class and here I going to install my entity framework I'll go to the new get package so I'm installing from the new get package I need a entity framework so let's go and install the latest version of entity framework okay my framework got uh, installed successfully uh, so let's close all the stuffs okay so in a reference entity framework is there okay no problem using entity so uh, with the system dot data dot entity so uh, I going to inherit the DB context to act my classes uh, DB and so I will go and create on model add a folder better I will add a folder called the models so this model have all those types okay anyways we already created So this uh, this only going to act the same. So but uh, for data retrieving, I need a different model. So what I going to do? I going to create on class add class mailbox. Okay. So this is what are uh, the my mailbox properties. So this model, this model going to act my act as a table to get those values from my database. So here I going to create my data like public DB set.
this will be under my reference using EF data model okay mailbox and then I going to add finally my connection string okay now everything is done it's it completely uh, then what is the final steps final thing I need to do is I need to call this to my service uh, so I go and add the reference to my project WCF service project uh, reference so my project f dot data So in my implementation here, I'm going to create data Okay, this is my uh, DB context class so data db equal to new data model uh, then finally So I will go on directly return the list of uh, the data. Okay, only thing is that I need to go and use so mailbox. Uh, so I don't want to uh, my uh, data contract service to be used because it is a rework again. So what I will do? I will go on to create delete my data contract time time being so later session we'll see the benefits of our data contracts completely so use this so this will be a good enough to handle yes so email service yep okay uh, still I'm getting some issues so uh, we'll check why this is uh, happening so uh, take a break uh, uh, just what I done just to go, go through this video and uh, implement the same uh, we'll catch up you in a s next tutorial are uh, we going to solve this issue plus we're going to connect the database get the data 
and we're going to expose the data in a soon in a video so just stay tuned my tutorial to get a more updates thanks for watching the video guys we'll shortly pick up in the next video